Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me in my shop. What we're looking at here is a chunk of wood that Anthony from PNWRC on YouTube sent me. This is a chunk of purple heart. You wouldn't know it by looking at it. But this came from the port of Seattle. Apparently they use this stuff on their piers. And they trimmed this piece off some 12 years ago. It's been sitting in somebody's garage until recently. It's so weathered, I wanted to give it a little test just to see if there's any of that magic purple heart oil left in there. And sure enough, look at that. Purple heart's amazing wood. Well, Anthony sent this wood to me about six months ago, and maybe closer to seven months ago. And when I'm not sure what to do with something, I'll set it in, in a place that I can see and just kind of let it percolate in the back of my mind. And the only thing that I could come up with was basically to cut it up and do a segmented project with it. I just wasn't sure how the inside of the wood was going to look compared to the outside. It's a little rugged. And obviously the purple is is missing, but we're going to do something about that. And if you happen to make a bad cut on one of your segments, or even just the slightest bad cut on all of the segments, you're not going to be able to glue up the complete circle. There's going to be a gap or, or a bad angle in there somewhere. So all you do is just glue the ring up with dowel rods in between the halves. I think this is only going to work if you've got an even number of segments. It's a couple extra steps, but this is how you fix it. Now it'll glue together as a very slight oval, but it won't matter. It all works out. So my point in showing you this is just so that I can say, if you haven't done any segmented turning and you want to, don't let it intimidate you. It's pretty easy. Of course, there's, you know, there's the easy side of segmenting, which this is, and then there's the really complicated side of turning with all the designs and whatnot in the feature rings. That's, that's a whole different story. It's still doable. This is what was left after I took the slabs off. And I cut this in half so that I could glue it back together sideways, make a little square out of it, and I'll round that off and use it as the base for this bowl. Now this is not a necessary step to make a base for the bowl, but I thought maybe I could salvage some of this wood and use it for something else, I don't know. All I'm doing here is prepping the base so that everything's ready for glue up. Because I'll be flattening out the rings and gluing everything up and leaving it overnight in the shop.
So the reality of this project is that it took about three weeks. And that's because I've worked on other projects in conjunction with this one. But putting this bowl together, you know, cutting all the pieces out, segmenting the glue ups, the sanding, all of that took a lot longer than the actual turning of this bowl. And that's why I decided to show you so much of it. Hope you don't mind. So I'm using the foot of this bowl as the tenon. It just happened to fit perfectly. And I do have the tailstock up and supporting this piece while I turn it.
after sanding up to 1000 grit, I used Axe Abrasive Paste and Polish to finish this bowl. I wanted to show some purple. It's possible that the longer this bowl sits, now that it's been taken care of, uh, the purple might show up more and more. Purple Heart works that way. But there's also a lot of flash, a lot of chitoyance in there. I'm really happy with this. Look at that flash. Let me know what you think. And here's some food for thought. Look it up. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And interest. God bless and Semper Fi.